On yesterday, Reverend Joey Crutcher did my radio show and said that he wanted justice and he wanted all of our involvement. He's here as the father of this victim with his wife and uh, is going to speak at this time. I think my daughter so eloquently uh, expressed all of our sentiments. But I just want to say this one thing. On that Friday night, I was conducting a musical workshop at the Antioch Baptist Church. I had just came back from Birmingham maybe about a month ago from the Gospel Music Workshop of America. And we go up there every year and network with some of the greatest gospel musicians of all times all over the country. And we had all of that new music that we was teaching this particular choir. Mm. And my sisters came into the church as I was completing the last song. Mm. And I said, what are they doing over here? And they came up and I said, what's wrong? They say the police killed Terrence. Mm. And I lost and I fell out the choir. What's going on? Deanna? What's wrong with Joe? And they told her and we lost it. And that was one of Terrence's passions. Oh was a gospel music workshop of America. Dad, where are we going this year? I said, we're going to Birmingham this year. He loved doing that. That's why he enrolled in TCC to get his degree in music because he wanted to be more professional Amen. in presenting that music right. to the community. That's what we've done in Tulsa community. We've given our lives to gospel music, okay. inspiring all of the churches there. And my son will not be able to do that anymore. His four children are crying. They're, they're calling our dad. Uh, grand, they call me children. When are you coming back home? What are you doing? His little baby. He started noticing that his daddy wasn't there. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? I haven't seen my daddy. We say, your daddy's in heaven. Well, he loves going to church and hear that word heaven all the time. Well, is he coming back today, tomorrow? What can I tell him? What can I tell him? My son had his hands raised up doing just what I taught him to do. And like I taught a, a, a lot of the, the young African Americans in our community because I work with them. How do you get, what do you do when you get stopped by the police? I say, put your hands up. Put them up so they can see them, so they can know that you don't have a gun. And that's what he was doing. I said, put your hands on the car. He was walking to the car and they shot him down like he was a dog. Every time I see that video, I start crying. I can't look at it anymore. Can't look at it anymore. Ooh, 